Hello scientists! Today we will be conducting an experiment to see just how much water can be wasted from a leaky faucet. This experiment is done best with at least one other person, so ask an adult or sibling to help. The materials that you will need for this experiment are two cups or buckets to collect your water, a teaspoon, we will be using a teaspoon as our unit of measurement because the amount of water we are going to collect will be small, and using a small unit of measurement helps us get more accurate data. You also need a timer and a piece of paper and writing utensil to keep track of your data. Before we start, let's make our data table, where we will gather the data that we collect. Scientists do the same test or experiment at least three times. Why do you think they do that? By averaging the results from the experiment, we reduce the effect of human error. So the tables will have three rows for our three trials of the experiment. This is where we will input our data. Below that, we will have a spot for our total. This next row will be for our average. Leave some space at the bottom. There is some more data that we will collect, but we'll leave that for the end. Now we need a leak to measure. If you have a leaky faucet at home, use that so that you can collect real data on how much water is being wasted from your leak. If you don't have a leaky faucet at home, you can turn your faucet on just barely so that it starts to drip a little. Make sure to keep your faucet in the same spot for all three trials so that your data is accurate. Once you have your faucet in the right spot, your timer or assistant can give you a countdown and say three, two, one, go before they start their timer and you will put your bucket or cup underneath the dripping faucet to collect your water. And your timer or assistant will watch the clock for one minute or 60 seconds. When it gets close to one minute, your timer can give you some countdown warnings. Okay, 10 seconds left. And then when it gets close, you can count down again and say three, two, one, stop, and you'll stop your timer and pull your bucket out from underneath the faucet. I recommend having a second cup to collect the dripping water in between your experiments so you don't waste any water. Now we need to measure how much water leaked into our bucket. To measure this, you're gonna use your teaspoon and remove one teaspoon of water at a time, and you keep track of each teaspoon as you remove it. But don't waste this water. Put it in with your other extra water to give to a plant or pet later, not down the drain. Once you're done removing all your water from your data collection bucket, you will write the number of teaspoons you collected under measurement one on your data table. TSP stands for teaspoon. Now it's your turn. Conduct this experiment a total of three times and then come back here so we can analyze our data and complete our data table. As you remove water, remember, don't waste it. Give it to a plant or pet, not down the drain. 